three, two, one. Hi, welcome. Stamp and Scoop Show. I think we're 153. <laughs> wow. At least that's what we're calling yeah. it. That's what we're, um, <laughs> we lost count. That's where we're picking it back up again. Welcome to the Stamp and Scoop Show. We're doing something beachy yeah. and warm. Yeah, because it is January, at least when we're filming. You might be watching live, you might be watching the replay, yeah. but when we're filming this, it's January. And snowy. In New England and snowy. Yeah. And we want to feel warm. Beachy, yes. happy vibes. So we are sharing the by the beach suite today <laughs> and some amazing um, ideas that you can make with it. We're going to be doing some fun. I'm going to show you how to make a quick and easy box <laughs> using it. And uh, yeah, so and hopefully not eat all the chocolates. Yeah, I know. That's the hardest part <laughs> is not eating the chocolates. So welcome aboard, everybody. Since we're, well, we can talk about that after, but <laughs> since we're live, we have a prize. Woo! You're going to get the bundle of the Seaside Bay, the stamp set and coordinating die. All you have to do is leave a comment on the broadcast you're watching. Um, either, uh, oh God, I lost my thought. <laughs> Just leave a comment. That's all we want. Leave a comment and then share any social media that you would like. And come back here and say shared with a D and you enter you a second time to win the bar, Seaside Bay. I'm by the Bay, Seaside Bay, Hello Bay. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a tongue twister yeah, kind of day. No, no, so no, there's a lot of Bay. That means we have a winner from our last episode. Woohoo! Congratulations to Patricia Settle. You won the Desert Details which bundle, which is also included in the mini January to April catalog. It's a really good bundle. We showed you lots of samples on a prior episode if you want to check those out. And we'll just continue on with the news. <laughs> I gave a little sneak peek of this one, but this is now available. Um, and the and the suite that we're showing you today by the bay is actually in this uh, January to April Stampin' Up! mini catalog. And you can, um, if you don't have a hard copy, and yes, we you know want, you want it. You want a hard copy. <laughs> you want a hard copy. Yes. Uh, you can uh, request one through either myself or Linda by going to our uh, websites right here on the screen. And uh, you can get them free, a free copy from us. So we are going to touch base back here in a minute <laughs> with By the Bay. But before we do, let's tell you a little bit about Celebration. Celebration, Celebration is the best time of the Stampin' Up! year because it's cold, it's drab, and we get all fun free stamps. So there are multiple ways to celebrate. Celebrate, celebrate. Um, and this <laughs> is only, you say? I know, <laughs> and it's only for two months. It's only through the end of February. So one way is to get yourself a prepaid pump paper pumpkin subscription. Yes, this is the time to do it. I know yes. a lot of my customers do this. Mine do too. Every uh, every celebration period, they they buy the twelve months, so they yes. have the full year. They get they, the you, benefit every year. You you save some money when you do that, but you also get four free celebration items and. You get the you get the stampin' reward. So if you if you really want to get the best deal, that is the best deal on the paper yeah, bumpkin. It's the best all around. Um, the next way to celebrate is to purchase. For every fifty dollars before tax and shipping, you spend on normal catalog products. You get to pick a free item out of the uh, celebration catalog. Do we have a one just for that? Uh, nope, we nope. just have okay. the, we just have a host. Okay. Host and team. if you decide you want to put an even bigger order or get a workshop order with a bunch of friends and that order totals over $300, you will get the scenic garden stamp set for free in addition to your other celebration rewards, in addition to your stamping rewards. If you go to 450, that's in addition, then you get a, um, one 50% off item. There's, and these are all in addition to not just one or the other. This is what makes celebration such a wonderful time. Another and probably the best way to celebrate is to join Tammy or my teams. Right now, you can spend $129. You Give will me one get one second because that one is for some reason uh, I can't find that one. So let's, let's on. make sure we put that. Go ahead. You keep talking okay. and for I'll hundred and twenty nine dollars you get $175 worth of product of your choice plus either the white or the boho blue there we go or <laughs> there the is. boho and blue that little um, square. a mini stamp and cut and emboss machine 
These are the best savings if you choose to get the um, mini, I always call it the, if you're just gonna get the mini, that's all I'm calling it right now, either white or boho blue, you can save up to $135. If you choose not to get the mini and spend $99 and get $135 worth of product, that's a little over $95 that you are savings. And you don't have to sell. You can get your product, hang out in the Facebook groups of Tammy and or myself, and join the fun that we have yeah, there. We want to join and our then, stamp it group because that's the most and fun. And you will effectively get to remain a demonstrator until the end of July. Which means you get the discount. And you get the discount. And if you then we happen to discount. spend $300 during that time frame, in addition to your, your starter kit, you get to stay another three months. And it goes on from there and there and there. And Sue has a question here. Oh. She would like to know if she can view the celebration catalogs online because she does not have one yet. Yes, you, yes, can. you can at either craftystampin.com or stampwithtammy.com. Yep. And while you're there, hit the request yes. a catalog button so yes. you can get your hard copy because yes. we know you want that hard copy yes. in your hot little hands. Yes. We do have a catalog page that will list all the catalogs. You can get download the catalogs. See you online. Shop and online. Lots of options yeah. there. Super Stuff easy. that's not online. There's some secret stuff. <laughs> There's some branded merchandise that I don't know if you've seen sweatshirts people wear. Mm -hmm. You can buy those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're in the, the store. The mugs that we've used. They're in the store. That they're sweatshirt's there. my favorite sweatshirt mm -hmm. this winter. It is so warm and fuzzy. But I digress. So we're not on warm and fuzzy. We're on beachy. Beachy. Mm -hmm. It's beachy. <laughs> well, warm. Warm. Warm, warm and yeah. sandy. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome to the By the Bay Suite. I feel like this needs a theme song. I know. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. I, I, like, what is the Beach Boys yeah. did they sing that uh -huh. was like... Aruba, Jamaica, ooh, I want to take you Aruba, to the okay. seaside. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, this is the stamp set that's part of the Sweet Seaside Bay, and it is nice. I like the sketchy artwork on it mm. because it's almost like realistic, um, and it has the matching die set that Linda is going to share yeah. with you because so what is, she always does something yeah. awesome with so that. So I tried to up my game here. Um, so you can see almost every image on the stamp set has a matching die. So you can see those on the slightly different color. And then there are these dies over here, one of which is interactive. I love that so a little one. clamshell. That one's my you can favorite. See the detail on it, and there's detail on all of these, um, are just the die themselves that you can then play up. What I also wanted to show these two, so you these three, what? Pipers, piping. I think uh, they're sand, yeah, sandlings or sandpipers. Sand, yeah. So these three are one stamp set, do, 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 do. and the die is one. I really like the sound effects. One die. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> um, as is these three uh, shells. But the thing with the um, pipers is. There is a very thin piece of rubber that holds them all together. If you want to make sure when you're using this, you're going to line up your stamp with your die. After you've put the stamp on your block, take your die and put it over. Make sure your pipers are all in the right spot because it is very easy to, you know, and I love that we can be uh, malleable with our stamps and put them in different directions, but then they don't line up. So that is a tip when you are trying to line up a die um, that might be a little movable with uh, your stamp set with your die is to just check them before. But that is the bundle, Seaside Bay. Super awesome. <laughs> I saw Sherry say that was the first one she got out of the catalog. This yeah. was definitely first on top on my yes, list. Mine too. So that is the stamp set and the dies, and these are the fun, gorgeous, uh, the flat back pearls. So they're flat and they're iridescent and they're just beautiful. And I think they go with a lot of different themes. Yes. And then there is the beautiful ribbon. Do, 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 do. So that's Bami Bay and white variegated ribbon, one half inch. I'm going to see if I can zoom in here just a hair. <laughs> so you guys can see a little better. There we go. <laughs> she got all these buttons. I, know. But I don't know which one over there. there we go. There we go. See how it's it's ombre. Yeah. It's, they call it variegated, variegated right? But so, but it's it's uh, balmy blue Ombre is a cooler name than variegated. Ombre is just fun to say. Yeah, ombre. Ombre. <laughs> and then we have the paper. I saved the best for last. These are awesome papers. And what's nice, it's one of our six by six packs, which is smaller, but you get more. There's actually more in here. 
All right, so there's six by six, as Linda just pointed out. And now I'm going to go backwards. One, because I'm a lefty, and two, because I just happen to be sitting on this side. <laughs> but see that sheen? They call that something on the camera. It is pearl, pearl, is what they're calling it. And the colors in here are Balmy Blue, Coastal Cabana, Mint Macaron, Night of Navy, Petal Pink, Pool Party, Sahara Sand, White, Pearl, and Gold. Yeah, so the pearl's not a color as it is, is the sheen that's on. And there's a lot of four them. of each, four of each page. So that's the foil. Yeah. The foil on some and pearl on the other. I love this one. I love the waves. I love all of them. They just, even if you weren't doing a beachy one, just that swoosh of colors with the gold. This could go for a lot, obviously. Yeah. That's more than just, I mean, this side is beachy, but the other side is, um, yeah. the other side could go for so many things. There's four of each sheet. I'm just kind of trying to skip ahead. I love these fish. The, yeah, the, the spiral. The, the spiral of the fish. That one's one of my There's favorites. two of them with two background different colors. Right. One so you kind of get And extra. this one's mint macaron. Yeah. And then this one's got wood on the background. We've got a little foil on the front. It's foil on the front. Yeah, and this one you get the stripes of the pearl. Look at that. I love this. I love that. I love that one. I, I'm going to circle back to that one later. <laughs> <laughs> and that one might be my favorite in the whole pack. Yeah. This one's got a little bit of that. I, I would say that's pearl. Like yeah. Like the swirls are pearl. Yeah. <laughs> and then we've got the mussels on the back. So pretty, right? And the colors just. there. I love the colors. There's the other fishies. So yeah. this one's the hair of sand. We got our little sand. <laughs> We're going to call him a sanderling today. Yeah. <laughs> This is, I love, I use yeah. that for a lot of things. Yeah, that is so a beautiful far. with the ripples. And I had a search to find a piece it. of that okay. so I could do my sample for you all. So we're on our um, websites afterwards will be a uh, blank copy of the DSP sampler if you want to make your own. These are three quarters of an inch and these are an inch and a half because there's so many pieces of paper I had to um, show off. This is always great to uh, keep on your sides when you're trying to plan things. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go jump into making some Ooh. stuff. I know we're always like, what should we do? Should we make something? <laughs> should we show you some ideas? But I think I'm gonna make something first and then we'll share some ideas. Cool. So I've got um, just a piece of that that pretty uh, background paper with the, it's got a little sheen, got our pearl sheen mm -hmm. on the front. And I'm gonna take, it's a six by six, and I'm actually just gonna cut two inches off of the, t so to make it a four by four. <laughs> She's got her notes. No, I, know. <laughs> I have and, to do the same thing. And, and I'm sorry, I'm gonna cut two inches yep. off this side. I'm not gonna make it a four by four. Two, two inches off one side and then on this side, and I we will have a template for this after, so <laughs> yes. don't feel like you need to write it down. I'm gonna just cut an eighth off, so we've got five uh, and seven eighths. So it looks like this. When we're done, we've got this sheet is gonna be our box. And then we're gonna do something really cool with this sheet. Ooh. We're gonna cut it up. I'm, I'm even gonna double up here, because oh. designer paper you can do that with, because it's really thin. And I'm gonna make four little scraps of this Three leftover. Yep, so we'll, we'll circle back to that in a minute. <laughs> Hang tight. Hang tight. And I'm just going to go ahead and use this since it's out already. I am going to score at five eighths. I need my glasses. <laughs> I know I tried really hard to be cool, but sorry, the glasses need to come out. Five eighths on all four sides. Uh, am I doing that? Yeah, five eighths. <laughs> I go live and then I like totally. Your brain leaves. Yeah, totally. Yeah. You get nervous. Yeah. We well, also like you're you're focusing on this scene, that you know, like focus, and all of a sudden you're like, oh, I'm supposed to be making a paper <laughs> project here. <laughs> and then on the long side, I'm gonna score two and five eighths, and three and a quarter. Okay, this one is just a simple, simple box, and I love it because it's easy, and I'm all about quick and easy. <laughs> And you can do it with one piece of um, six by six 
Well, I like that you can use the smaller paper because sometimes yeah. you want to make a bigger box, you got to use a big. So. A lot of times we have the very thin one in there. Yeah. Just oh, work. it's just Patty saying how she likes this sweet because it's versatile. She can use it for any kind yeah. of card. Sympathy, birthday, you name it. And that's so true. So true. It's masculine. So I've just burnished. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll zoom in just a hair here just so you guys can see a little bit better now that I'm done with the paper cutter because, <laughs> you know, that kind of needed to be zoomed out. Uh, okay, so then I'm going to take some paper snips and I'm going to go ahead and snip each of these score lines on the edge just up to the score line and I'm going to dovetail them which means I'm going to make a tiny little V when I do that. I find that helps. So we're going to do that. There's eight of them. I'm going to do that on all of those. Just on the sides, not the ones on the top. This makes the folding and creating the box easier. Yeah. I mean, you can just cut a straight line right up there if you want to, but I really feel like cutting the V, cutting the dovetail in there really makes it, when you put it together, I, I think it just folds nicer. Yeah. Now... All you need is love. Oh, All you yeah. need is love. <laughs> da, na, 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 na. Okay, so on each of these, let me make sure I do this right. Okay, on each of these, right, we are going to fold Ooh. up like that. Let me make sure you guys can see. <laughs> so I'm going to put, and I've got seal plus adhesive here. I'm going to put it on those two tabs. Ah, uh, yes. Definitely want the plus. Plus is the extra strong one. Yep. Yep. And then the middle. You just get to decide which side you want yep. is your bottom, which just, one's you your top. Choose, you choose which way you want to go, one way or the other, but you got to go one way. <laughs> one your way choice. Your choice. <laughs> You're going to have that song stuck in my head <laughs> all, all day. Love a good earworm. Yeah. And then we've got a little hinged box that's going to, oops. There it's we fold. go. So, so, so cute. Right? Quick, mm. easy. Oh, wait, there's more. There's more. So we've got our cute little hinged say, box. You can't just have a box it's without something to put in it. on the inside. And the first thing people ask, oh, what would you put in that box? Well, <laughs> let me show you. Hence what we try not to eat while we're sitting here. Exactly, because I can smell them. I can't <laughs> smell much. And my, my sense of smell has kind of gone since I had COVID last oh. year. And now I, it, but I can smell this. And it's really <laughs> making me hungry. And these, I'm just going to use regular seal for these. So those strips, the four strips that I cut off in the beginning when I cut off the two inch strip. Oh, which way should we put oh. them? Oh, this is tough. We'll do two of each. Oh, there you go. And so, so these, everybody's happy. Just wrap around. Oh, and it fits perfectly. Right? Right? So you've got a whole sheet. No waste almost. You have like just a tiny little bit. And these guys fit awesome. right in here. Right? So cute and adorable. This takes the calories away. Mm -hmm. You dress oh, well, up your so. candy, mm -hmm. it no longer has calories. I agree. If you can find a way to put some uh, yeah. stamping product on it, yep. no calories. The effort you also took in creating it, now it makes it negative calories. It's a win-win. What do you guys think? Quick and easy <laughs> box, no calories. Cute little Hershey nuggets. Great little little pick me up for somebody or some you know to give with oh, your gift. Cute. You know, just to leave on your coworker's desk to say, I love you, man. I'm sorry <laughs> yeah. that I'm working from home today and you're on your own. <laughs> <laughs> so four fit in that little box. And super cute. The magic of video. I have a couple here. Neat and ready. adorable. So all done. You are the pearl, and these are cut from the the die set, and that's and these the are flat the flat back pearls. So cute. And then I love that you also have inside here negative calories. Sherry says. <laughs> <laughs> 
and then you know you got your four little chocolates inside but you got a cute little design on the inside so there's one and here's another I love That's these little swirly, right? You could you could make these so quick and easy. So it's something so, you could make a whole so bunch cute. of. Valentine's Day, you can change up the mm. paper for Valentine's Day and make your cute little chocolates for the grands, for the class, for the whatever you got going on, Ooh. for the town hall meeting, whatever you're doing. <laughs> Walking to the town hall meeting, trying you to get butter, my permit. Passed. You want to butter them up? Chocolate. <laughs> Here, have a chocolate. This one, I like that little wood design of the paper, yeah. so I use that one. And then I've got this with the, the sheen on the inside. Okay, oh, so that is the first so project. Cute. And then I'm going to let Linda take it away with some more ideas. So I got a some bunch of ideas. samples. Some cute little samples. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, it's just, they're all serene. They're all just so pretty. I, it's, I just love them all. You know, and this one, they just cut along the edge of the contours of the paper. Just super, super. Tammy's hungry. I think my, <laughs> my stomach is growling. I don't know if you guys can hear that like, from there. <laughs> Lunchtime! <laughs> that is the, you know, so the disadvantage cute. of, we're on Eastern Standard Time, yeah. so we're it's on. It's lunchtime. It is lunchtime, and my stomach <laughs> knows it. Hold on. Mine get closed up for photo reasons. Same. So same. I gotta unseal them. And then I got one more. This one's the. Oh no, I got. Hold on. Hold on. So here's one that uses that fun little die that moves. Super cute. Super super cute. All right, and this is one. Sherry okay. says, "Eat the nugget." <laughs> Eat the nugget. <laughs> and then here's a cute little like three way opening. I love it. I love, it. I love the fun folds. Yeah. So like simple, for... but gorgeous, and really just sort of, you know, stands out. The Tammy's got more. All right, so I was stamping away with this. <laughs> uh, we decided a little while ago that we wanted to do a whole episode on this, so I was like, oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Again, as I said, like Sherry, this was the first one that I got out of the catalog, and yep. I couldn't wait to play with it. So this was kind of the first thing that I came up with out of it, and, and this is a slim line, and I just used Stampin' Blend markers on it for the background. Did you cut out the bird? And the bird is cut out from the designer paper. Awesome I idea. Him. I stamped them so he has legs. And then I, it, the designer paper matches the stamp. And the, I, I didn't use the die because I wanted them cut tight. I didn't right. want a border around them. And then those are from the waves. Because uh, it, dies. I only just now, and you've already shown these to me, <laughs> that it was the die, the, the paper and not a stamp that you colored. So then I've got the, you're know, always looking for uh, uses for that scrap paper that's left over of your designer paper. You hate to throw it out because it's so pretty. And here is a great use for it. Just cut some random circles. And then in the background, I use the um, seashells folder. Oh, nice. The folder from the uh, hybrid folder die. And just a, just a quick and easy one, but using up some of those scraps, that's a great way to go. And this was another simple one. Just yeah. using the Muscles Shell Designer Series paper, and then I cut a couple out to pop up there. Yep. And the, the sheen on some of them is just know, so just, pretty. It's really cool. It really jumps out at And it me. looks like the sheen that's on the muscles, you know, when you open them up. And then I have a double uh, Z-fold. Love it. And like this one's, again, fairly easy. I'll have instructions for these over the next few days yeah. all on my blog. Um, and I have a couple, these two I have instructions for that today I'll have these up today, but this one will be coming. So just an, again, it's an easy one, but I kept the scene going here. This was the edgelet. Yep. I cut it oh, out of yeah, crumb yeah. cake and then I just kind of yeah. had it roll that's, right across all three right panels. Here. You can make your little beach scene. And then Ooh. I really loved <laughs> this fish paper. So the fish paper, upside down, <laughs> the fish paper was fun. So I kind of played with it. We had two different colors. One, it, these these two are done with the mint macaron splatters in the background. And this one has the Sahara sand. So here I did a triple time using the um, rectangle dies, Great stitched idea. rectangle dies. And then, you know, the fish are just kind of swirling into the middle. And then these <laughs> two, Ooh. I use that, that, the fold, you know, the the die that folds up the for that shell, one. Yeah. These two are easel cards. Nice. So they kind of just pop up just for a quick, easy, uh, fun fold on those. Oh, and wait, no. Nope. Uh, there's I'll bring more. This one in. I'll bring this oh, one okay, in while I've got the, the swirl because it's the same designer series paper. Just sharing <laughs> some more because I really liked that designer series paper. And this one has some 
has some buddies. <laughs> These are uh, air, um, angled gatefold cards. Cool. So I have a template for that on the blog too, and I'll get these instructions out as well. Is it the belly band? And they get so oh. I use the seashell folder on the inside nice. because I found this sweet pairs really well with yep. almost all, I think all of our our nautical yes. themed uh, bundles and stamp sets, and I'll share that again in a minute. I'm just kind of share. I did the same thing on the inside here, but I added a crab. <laughs> <laughs> And then here, same. Oh, got that's little, so pretty. Just it works a little so something. Good. And then if you wanted to put something on here, you could layer it, you know, like you could layer uh, more on top there and still have that, um, still have that textured folder yeah. in there. All right. Oh, wait, uh, there's more. There's more. <laughs> okay. So now I said I really liked that fishy designer series paper. Fishy, fishy, fishy. It, uh, it's a toss up. For me, which one I like the most? It's between the fishies, the the gold fishies that oh, the swirl, swirl around, that swirl around in the circle, and this one. Yeah. This one I feel like you've got water, beach, sand, and I love it. Yep. And so I have a few cards that look I look how those will look with that. Mm -hmm. That's so awesome. That awesome. So this this one was made with the stamp set. Right this was a um, pop out swing card. This is one of the first ones I made with. The, with the new stuff, I did a pop out swing series. So, and awesome. that's got the this paper on the front. But these two, I paired the paper and with some other dies that we have. So this was the um, lighthouse and the the lighthouse die set in the catalog. Hold on, she's she's been tricky. <laughs> do we know how wide the paper is and oh, what she did? Thanks for pointing that out. Yeah, do you guys see it? The lighthouse covers the scene. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> yeah, because it's longer than six inches, right? So, so cool. The lighthouse covers the seam there, so you don't see it. And that's when the lighthouse dies. And then, uh, the, then I, I took love some vellum. That. I love it more vellum, now. I'm going to add it there. Oh, and you use the uh, corrugated. The corrugated. Metallic. If you can see What's that on the background. The, it's textured, textured shimmer, shimmer, I think. Shimmer. And then this one I just posted. Yes. This one I used the brand new on the ocean. Um, set for the dies for the waves and the ship. I love that ship. That, that is that so ship cool. Is just, and this one is uh, Oh, the pop-outs. This one's a pop-up. <gasps> love and it. And so I've got the different papers on the inside, but it pairs so well with our other nautical themed that you could use the paper and the sets and the, even the pieces with it with other pieces and they really go together. This is, is in the main catalog, the lighthouse? Yes, the lighthouse yeah. dies are in the main catalog. Yeah. And um, the way, the I believe the seagulls came from the waves dies. I will have yes. again yes. these two. I have instructions for already, and this one this I'll have upcoming. <laughs> yeah, these were some that I this one I just posted a couple yeah. of days ago, and this one's one of my first for the mini so catalogs. Cute. So that is our ideas for <laughs> our uh, by the bay sweet. Let me. I wish there was a better song. I need a by the bay song. Yes, I got Drive sitting me nuts. by the dog of the bay is yeah. stuck in my head. Now we got a little Otis Redding. It's not doing it for me. No, that's not doing it. No, I need a bass. I, know, I feel like I it needs to be a little I'm happier. Like trying to think of one. That one's a little like you know. I would. I need something a little happier. I, I yeah. Agree. So just sharing know. a whole bunch of. Whole I'll get home. Bunch and one will be like. Bing! <laughs> what do you guys think? Which one? Which ones do yeah, you think are your, your favorites? favorites? We will um, post these up on our blogs. We'll have them up probably within the yeah, hour. Yeah. How and, long takes um, me to get home? I will have instructions <laughs> for the ones that I don't already have instructions for. I will have uh, within the next week. I'll have. I'll, stay tuned. Stay tuned to my <laughs> blog, and I'll have them out for you guys. So yeah, I know, right? It's just this, a wow. Everything wow. is just a wow with this bundle. Yeah. And this is the you can't go by wrong. the bay suite that we shared today from um, the mini catalog, January to April Stampin' Up mini catalog. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad you Everyone's guys like, like the it. Ship, all. The ship. Love it. The ship is the winner. <laughs> The ship got Lighthouse most of the, the love. Ship. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. It was great we'll seeing everybody. We will be back next week, we hope. We, yep. know, we think we have something <laughs> really cool to share next week, too. So uh, stay tuned, and we'll all uh, confirm that. I know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and if for some reason it doesn't work out, we'll be back in two weeks. Yeah. But I think we'll be back next week, so we'll, we'll let you know. <laughs> stay tuned. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us. Bye, everybody. <laughs>